was originally uh, in this before, so I uh, I squeezed my way into his movie. He was Ben. Ben had that part uh, way before me, so I'm, I I yeah right. Ben Ben is the reason that Melissa is here actually. This this project had a different life before, and you know movies are like a miracle when they actually get made, and it had fallen apart one other time before. Melissa wasn't involved, and I wasn't involved, but Ben was. And the reason Melissa picked up the script was because Ben was attached to it and was friends with people who were making it and had written it, and so she read it. That's, it's just a random course of events that led to her being here today. But I like him too, a lot. <laughs> Are there any more questions out there? Yes, towards the back in one of the pods here, yeah. Um, this, this was amazing, congratulations. Uh, it also struck me as a lot of uh, queer friendship and queer love. Could you talk about that aspect of the storytelling and how that was important, how you brought it into the story? Um, so maybe this one is a question for Marielle. If you could talk a little bit about the sort of queer aspects of the film and that sort of lens in the storytelling. You know, um, we all did a lot of research when coming to this movie, and I think one of the things I was so struck by when thinking about 1991 in New York, mm -hmm. and particularly queer people in 91 in New York, is it was at the height of the AIDS epidemic. And um, there was something interesting that was happening between the gay community and the lesbian community too, where these were two communities that had largely been separate and were coming together because of the AIDS crisis. A lot of men were being abandoned by their families. Lesbians were coming out and helping and supporting and taking care of a lot of men who were dying. So there was some crossover that was happening in New York at that time, cross-pollination sort of. I was struck by that, I was struck by um, what that time in history was for my city. I live in New York now, I didn't live in New York in 91, but um, my aunt was in New York at that time, frequenting these bars and giving me her stories about this lifestyle, these kind of lifestyle in New York. Um, so although the, the movies, we, we never viewed it necessarily as, that wasn't, it wasn't an issues movie, this is a movie about two people um, who are very lonely in their lives, who find each other at a moment when, for various reasons, they have different reasons to be alone. Um, and we were just touched by that history, I think. Okay, are there any other questions?